How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. We have a new exclusive car that has been added to the game. Now usually these cars would end up in the Forzathon shop. You'd need to spend 200 or 250 points, oh it's actually 275 this week, wow. You'd have to spend a moderate amount of Forzathon points to get an exclusive car. Now these have quite often been cars that you can literally only get through the Forzathon shop for a week and then they're gone forever. However this week we do have a new exclusive car called the Mosler MT900 I think it's called. However for once you don't actually get it through the Forzathon shop, you need to do a little bit more than that which is what this video is going to be all about. Now, the way you unlock this new car is to complete a co-op trial championship. If you go on your map for the next week, you are going to have a championship up here called the co-op championship blistering speed up at the Holyrood Park circuit. If you fast travel to that and click on it, with your little button, you are going to see that if you place first against unbeatable driver tiles, you will unlock for free the Mosler MT900. I'm probably butchering that name to be honest, so cue the comments. Now there's a good thing and a bad thing about this. Is The bad thing is it's unbeatable and not everyone can, can handle unbeatable sometimes. Now the good thing is it's online, but it's not the online that you think. If you've never done an online race like this before, basically what it is, it will be six real people, so six of us, for example, versus six unbeatable driver tars, and you have to basically beat them. So it is online, you will be playing with other players, but you'll all be working together. You know, everybody will get the car if you win, not only one person. So the objective is six online people, you have to beat the unbeatable driver tars, and then you will win this car. But please remember, all six of the online players, you're all working together. So what I want you to do, in the comment section below, drop your gamer tag. And if you're looking for someone to do this race with, make it a bit easier to do it with some friends. Go to the comment section below and find some people to do this championship with. Maybe some of you can work together and just, just, just meet someone new, I don't know, from my comment section. But anyway, information about the race, it is a hypercar only race. So you can either use one of your own cars or it will give you a car if you don't have one and just win the races you know you don't have to come first second third as long as your team wins the race you will win and i think there's three races so if your team wins after the three races you'll get given the car the only annoying thing about this race is you have to kind of sit for a few minutes until it finds you a team if you don't have a full party of six You'll be restricted to S2 class in the race. Here's a brief example of the selection of cars that you will be able to use. For example, all of the Paganis, some of the Porsches, the McLarens, um, quite a few Lamborghinis, and uh, Koenigseggs and Ferraris as well, and all the Veyrons. I personally used the F12 TDF Ferrari because it had a lot of power and it was all wheel drive, and I prefer that. Um, although I'm gonna use some ability on the corners, it's pretty beastly in a red line, in a straight line. You'll do a total of three races, one of which is the Holyrood circuit around the mountain. You do five laps of that, which takes quite a while. The second one is a sprint race, which starts in the city and ends somewhere in the middle of nowhere. So that's quite a nice quick sprint race. And the third one is the sprint race that you can see right here, which kind of just goes around the foresty areas, which is another very quick race. So the only long race you'll do is the first one, and the other two are nice and quick. As you can see, for some reason, our races, it was 3v8. Instead of 6v6 or 4v8, it was 3v8. And uh, we weren't expecting it to be that easy, but it's actually surprisingly easy having less teammates. But well, this is the last race, we've already won the first two, so even if we lose this one, we've still won two races, and they've won one, and it's the best of three, so we basically win anyway, which is why I'm not really trying on this race. I would give some recommendations of some good cars to use for this race, but honestly, any of them will work. I used a super high horsepower all-wheel drive car, and I was still managing to get into around first place for the first two races. Didn't do so well on the third one. But, um, and Harry, who was doing the race with me, he had a rear-wheel drive, a low-horsepower car, and still did well. So any hypercar will be good for this race. As soon as you go over the line for the third race, as long as your team have won most of the races that you've done out of three, you will get given the new car, which I'm sure will pop up in a second. <coughs> 
Once it's done, you've won three out of three. You don't need to win all three, but you will unlock the Mosler MT900S. Ah, I'm probably butchering that name. All done and dusted, I'm going to jump in the car right now, see what kind of upgrades you can do with it, and give you a little bit of gameplay of the new car so you can see whether it's worth getting or not. I would suggest you do get it because it's quite a different exclusive car, which you're only going to be able to get this week through this championship. Fully upgraded with the stock engine, it will pull just under 1,200 horsepower, which is actually quite a lot. That's more than double what it came with standard. It will be upgraded to X999 class, and the stats are actually pretty impressive. Nearly everything is up at 10. I'm going to put up a tune on the market which is called Insane Grip. If anyone wants to buy it, it's for the fully upgraded car with the standard powertrain and the standard drivetrain. I would highly recommend getting this tune. You can add my gamertag on Xbox, it's up here, and you'll be able to find it when you go to load tune. Once again, it's called Insane Grip, and trust me, I'm going to leave some gameplay of the car in a minute. This car is unbelievable. The power it brings out with 1,200 horsepower is impressive, but for handling with rear-wheel drive, it's insane. I'm going to leave some gameplay of it right now, and you'll see what I'm on about. So if you want my tune with some insane handling, then you know how to get it. But I'm just going to go up here just so you can see the sheer handling and acceleration of this thing. It's monstrous. It will just handle like it's absolutely nothing. 250 miles an hour around this corner like it's nothing. And around this one as well. It's just... So is this car worth getting? Yes, definitely. It's insane. For anyone who wants an alternative to the Porsche GT2 RS that you can get the uh, pre-order edition of, which is insane, this is definitely up there with one of the best handling cars in the game. As long as you don't go straight into a fence like I did then, I was kind of pushing its limits then, but it's, honestly, it's a very good car. I'm not going to sit here and brag about it for the next 10 minutes. I'm just going to say it's very, very good, which you can clearly see. So go get it. As I said, ladies, if you're having any trouble winning these races online to get this car, leave your gamer tag in the comment section below and find some people down there to add up and do this with. But anyway, ladies, please leave a like if you've enjoyed. I'm going to leave some gameplay of this now for you to watch. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, no, no.